Good day and welcome to Cooking Keto Southern Style with Randy. Today on this episode, we're going to do some Gulf Fried Shrimp. You heard it right. I'm going to be battering up some shrimp and deep frying it. So get ready to sit back, enjoy, and learn. We're going to discuss what types of fats or oils to actually cook in. Um, I've come up with a website that has the seven best oils to cook with. I'm going to have a link down below in the description so you can just click on that, read the full article, the health benefits for each one of these. It's, it's, it's a very long article and I'm not going to list them all here. So number one is, for this is for frying or deep frying. So um, coconut oil, butter or ghee, and then you should use ghee for uh, deep frying, that's number three olive oil, avocado oil, macadamia nut oil, lard which is pig fat or tallow which is beef fat. So um, most all of these have a very high smoke point uh, above what you would want when you're deep frying. Uh, back here on the stove I already have a pot of uh, what I'm going to use today heating up so we can do the frying here in just a minute. Um, I have chosen to use lard today and the reason is um, it's more economical than the other six, or, yeah, six that I listed. Um, I bought actually this four pound bucket, oh, let's put it in English, yesterday at Walmart for less than seven dollars. I probably used about a pound and a half back here in my pot that y'all see in a few minutes that we're going to fry in. Uh, so this is much more economical. Um, when you're looking at oils you're really looking for the omega-3 oils and not the omega-6 and that's the reason those are listed. Uh, oh and also for uh, lard it contains oleic acid which is the same thing that's in olive oil and it's been shown to help lower the LDL cholesterol, which is your bad cholesterol. So, um, also, it has a very neutral flavor profile, so it doesn't infuse back into the food cooking and like uh, with coconut oil or avocado oil or olive oil, you get the flavor of actually the oil with it. With the lard, uh, it does not infuse its flavor in. So what I have done is peeled uh, 12 fresh shrimp that I went this morning to the uh, seafood uh, place and actually picked up some fresh shrimp right out of the Gulf this morning. That's the nice thing about living down here on the Gulf Coast is fresh shrimp. Um, peeled those, devanged them, got them ready to go. And what we're going to do is actually fry them up like you would go out to a seafood restaurant and get. So we're going to mix up the uh, batter is called 321 keto so it's three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese two tablespoons of uh, flaxseed meal which uh, actually I put flaxseed in my uh, coffee grinder and actually just you can see made my own uh, meal out of it it's very fine powder and then the one is one tablespoon of almond flour and then the additional ingredient I'm going to put in it is a half a teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. So in the bowl with the uh, shrimp, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to uh, salt those first and then we're going to beat up one egg to actually do a wash before we actually uh, do the breading onto the shrimp. So here is our shrimp. We're going to take some pink Himalayan salt and we're just going to sprinkle those a little bit just so we get some salt on there. There's not a, uh, a lot in the um, Old Bay seasoning. So we got those salted up. So we have those salted up and put them to the side. I'm going to actually crack one egg into this bowl. 
and we're going to beat it and we're going to actually put pour it over our shrimp and then we're going to build the uh, actual coating out on a paper plate so I've got that we're going to actually pour that over the shrimp get the egg on there and we're just going to toss these to, to coat we need some binder for the shrimp so um, the egg works really well so I'm going to set the shrimp to the side and get a paper plate and we're going to uh, go ahead and make the coating. So three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, two tablespoons of flaxseed meal, and in this case, like I said, I just had some flaxseed and we ground those up, and then one tablespoon of almond flour. So we're we'll grind that up. And then we're going to uh, incorporate all this. Well, forgot. We gotta have a little seasoning. So a half a teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. And now we're gonna mix this up. So what we're gonna do is uh, here in just a moment is go over to the stove and I'm gonna do these one at a time into the uh, the grease. So now we're going to come over to the oil with the um, the shrimp and the coating and we're going to actually do these one at a time so we can make sure that they get coated well and we drop them. So I'm going to kind of roll them in the the breading and put them down. The oil is on about 335 I just turned it up just a little bit because we're going to lose some heat as we drop these in and we may not be able to get all 12 of them in here at one time this uh, coating that I found online has a zero net carb so we're going to see how well it tastes my wife loves fried shrimp so this was kind of a challenge for me to find something for her they would just whoop. I have some shells still on that one These are actually jumbo shrimp, so um, usually I prefer medium or large. That way you do more of a popcorn shrimp. But So we're going to, um, actually that's about half of them. So I'm going to let that cook. And then we'll pull those out and then cook the rest. Okay, the shrimp has started to float, so that means it's time to pull them. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get them out. And some of the actual batter has come off. And actually some of it is from me doing, well, that one stuck well. Doing the catfish episode earlier. So we're going to finish up the rest of these. So the last of the shrimp are actually floating up and I'm going to go ahead and dip those out. And let me put them to one another side so I can do a taste test here in a minute because I really don't want to eat them when they're right out of the grease. They really look pretty. Make up some uh, low carb cocktail sauce if you like. Uh, I'm not a big cocktail sauce person, so um, I actually use a little lemon juice 
on mine. So we're going to bring these over here and do a taste test. So here are our shrimp. These are the ones I cooked first. This is the second batch. So we're going to uh, give it a taste test now. I'm going to get a little lemon juice, squirt on one, and taste it. I'm back now to actually do a taste test. I have a condiment cup. I put some lemon juice in. I am going to get a shrimp and the actual crust, and they're very firm. The crust is staying on there, so I'm going to dip it down in the lemon juice because I love lemon juice on my seafood. Very good. Uh, the only thing I think it probably used was a little more salt, but um, it's very tasty. So I encourage you to try this shrimp recipe. It was really easy. The only thing, like I said, I would add a little salt probably into the batter because uh, it just needed a little more salt to me. Um, but other than that, it was delicious. Make you up some uh, low carb cocktail sauce to dip these in if you like that. If not, lemon juice and a little Tony Satchery mixed up in a uh, condiment cup is my favorite. So if you tried this recipe and you liked it, or not give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down right below the video here leave me comments down below the video and subscribe to my channel and if you've already subscribed make sure you hit the bell below so you get notified whenever my new videos come out um, I encourage anyone who has a southern recipe that they love and they can't figure out how to do on keto to put it down here in uh, comments and let me know and I will do everything I can do to accept your challenge and convert your dish to keto. Y'all have a great day.